Okay. So hi guys. Uh, uh, hopefully you guys are doing really great. So today I'm here uh, with a great hack that would save your time uh, with with Git and maybe a cloud uh, remote Git server. Uh, uh, for example, GitHub or Bitbucket. So, what you, you do with, uh, with, with with the Git, a uh, simple Git platform, which you remove one as well. So, when you uh, do make uh, new changes on your code base, then what you do, you do uh, add that code. And there is a like, uh, there's like when you do a change, for example, uh, let's say. Uh, let's get status. See, there are no changes. It's clear. So, uh, let's say we do create a new file called uh, new file check. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's say we, we 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 create a new file. Now to push that file on the server, what you do usually is um, we do git add, then git commit. Uh, add it a new file then git push right new and then afterward it will go to server so uh, the, 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 the total three steps that you have to do three comments you have to put to uh, complete the total process right but I know, I know that uh, you can do this with a graphical manner easily by using by using their the git uh, GUI software uh, graphical user interface software but if you are like me you like to uh, work with um, work with uh, command line instead of graphical user interface and you love to do work with CMD I mean, command line then there we go well, I got a solution for you to uh, get this part easier so what we'll do is we will write a function we'll write a bash function that will have this instruction inside it and we will throw a parameter as the commit masses so how cool is that uh, okay so that's it and and by using something like uh, like git push sorry git push and commit masses commit masses and that's it we will just hit hit enter and it will be committed and will be pushed to server as well so there is let's 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 do that for now okay so to do, do that we have to add the function to our bash profile so for that let me open the bash profile first to a code editor you can open it uh, by using uh, the the command line code editor like beam uh, and any other that you prefer but i would look i would like to open it with the vs code let me do it quick so here and uh, that means you're on the root directory and slashes that bash profile so here it will be your file so in case if you don't have the file then you can you can create it that's that's totally okay and so okay let's hit the enter button and we'll see what happens okay there is a piece called update i'll do it later boy okay yeah uh, I tried and tested that function and uh, keep that as commented so that I can show you uh, quickly here is the function that we wrote um, so now this is the function and the first word the function is doing is git add git commit and here is uh, here is the dollar sign and one that means uh, it will receive a parameter and here git push you or is it master <coughs> okay so here it will <coughs> do all the work for us so if you wish to uh, push it to a uh, the branch instead of master then you have you will have to 
and use another parameter as well so that's it we wrote that function we save it we close it and now to test that function first we will, we will have to uh, enable it otherwise we'll have to register the pc we'll have to put another command to uh, enable the profile here okay so for that we have to do this first profile okay that is enabled for now okay that's it okay so now 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 just let me check if there is a remote host for this so suppose we did test okay there is a there is one okay let me just hit push if the comment matches oh sorry the status i think i need to add one more file okay let me just do it plus just another file this thing get push over here Oops. one more file as test pass let us see what happens okay you can see that 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 commit has been oh my god <laughs> that is looking for password but that's it uh, as you can see that this thing is looking for a password but if i put that password it, uh, it actually a private server so if you put that password then it will be pushed to that server automatically and later one you will be able to get the file here and that's just only uh, any one comment how cool is that okay so that's it for today uh, I, i'll be showing you another great way to do the continuous deployment uh, to cpanel okay so like uh, uh like the traditional way we do it uh we used filezilla and all other things that's total crappy and very shitty things i will show you the best and perfect way for you and the easiest way of course to push your code directly on a cpanel by using git so you have to push just here and the code will be live on your cpanel how cool is that okay okay guys thank you so much for checking out i will show you i'll come with that video later on sometimes see ya